This Plinko feature video will cover the Quick Start. The Plinko Quick Start is a quick and easy way to get started using Plinko. You need to only open up one template, the Quick Start, set one property, the source database, and press Generate. Codesmith will then create you a Visual Studio solution, complete with a pre-configured Plinko data project, fully functional dynamic data UI, and even a test project. So, in 30 seconds or less, you can go from having only a database to a working solution. Let's take a look. So the Quick Start CST is located in the Codesmith folder in your My Documents. From there, you navigate down to Samples, Version 5.2, Templates, Frameworks, Plinko, and select the Quick Start CST. At which point, you need to only set one property, the source database, and that will cause all the other properties to be automatically filled in. But let's quickly take a look at some of these. You can choose your language. Plinko comes in both C Sharp and Visual Basic. Using these properties, you can configure all your project names and your solution name. You can configure where you want the output to be generated to. By default, it's in your My Documents folder, slash Codesmith, slash Templates, slash Plinko, and then your solution name. You can even choose whether or not you want an interface project or a test project. And with the interface project, not only can you choose if you want it, but you can choose if you prefer a dynamic data web application or a dynamic data website. And one more property to point out, you can even tell the Quick Start to make a local copy of all the Plinko templates in the solution folder. Which, because the templates are part of your source code, we recommend doing this for when you're creating a project that you're going to be persisting. But, since this is just a demo, we can leave that as false. Now that we've looked at those, let's generate. So that was it, we set one property and generated, and now the Quick Start has generated us a complete Visual Studio solution with three projects the data project, which comes equipped with a fully configured CSP. So if we take a look at those and manage outputs, we can see that Plinko has configured our DBML CST, our Entity CST, and a Query CST. And all of these have been configured using the properties we just specified. So the source database is still Pet Shop. So if we go ahead and generate those, We can see that Plinko has added all of our queries and entities into a nice organized folder structure and has even included all the references we're going to need to run the project. And we can see that all the files it generated come in two parts, a back-end generated file and a front-end file that can be customized and preserved during regeneration. So the Quick Start also generated an empty test project for us, so it's really easy to create tests. And it generated a dynamic data UI. In this case, it generated a dynamic data web application, and it even created that complete with data services, pre-configured and ready to run. So let's set this as our startup project. Press play. Tell it that it's OK to debug. And let's take a look at what Plinko has generated for us. So again, I want to emphasize that in under 30 seconds, Plinko created a complete solution with all the pre-configured CSPs and Codesmith templates. It generated all of our entities, it generated solution, and we're even in here using a complete UI so that we can access and look at all of our data. It's that quick and easy to use Plinko to go from only having a database to having a complete and working project. That concludes this video over the Plinko Quick Start. We hope it got you excited about using Plinko. To watch additional Plinko feature videos, please visit us at Plinko.com. My name is Tom DuPont, and thank you very much for checking out Plinko.